In this session, we look at the fact what is happening if we have multiple sites where we learn identities. We will understand the impact when AD query is used at multiple sites. And we will learn some guidelines to understand if the environment is working as expected and understand identity sharing between policy decision point and enforcement point, and we will introduce the identity broker. Identity acquisition, so the learning of login events and the sharing of identity sessions need to be looked at the same time. In this example, we have an environment with three sites, a small site, a regular site, another regular site and a data center. Users are located everywhere and on all sites we have an Active Directory server where users can perform a logon to. Here we have a data center and this data center users would like to access applications. This is why we have on all sites a PDP component in order to learn the login event from the closest Active Directory server. Traditionally, AD query is used on all these gateways. Of course, then the identity session is learned on the PDP and shared with the policy enforcement instance. This is done using the identity sharing from PDP to PEP. But what if we kind of want to achieve that a user from this side here, who is logging on here, should have access to an application here, or maybe a conference with this user. So in this case, we would need to share the identity session from this side, even to this and this side. But what if the Active Directory servers are synchronizing their login events? What does it happen? What does it mean? What is the impact? In this case, the login event here would be learned here and synced here. And then this machine would have, again, an identity session and share it with the PEP. But if I share it in addition from here to here, I'm kind of doing things twice. This is why it's so important that you observe your environment before you migrate to the identity collector. Observe what is happening with identity sessions and you can do this with the help of the previous recorded videos. So let's review identity sharing from the PDP to the PEP instance. We have a user located on a network, the PDP instance, a PEP running on the same gateway, and we have a PEP running on a remote gateway. Both are managed by the same management server. The identity sessions are created on the PDP based on the login events. And then this identity session is immediately shared with the PEP instance running on the same host. The remote host, however, is only getting identity sessions when needed, when a packet of interest is arriving on this particular gateway. Keep in mind, there are identity connect sharing connections based on two directions. One is the connections outbound towards the PD policy enforcement point, and one is inbound from a remote PEP to the PDP. The trust of this connection is based on the six certificates because they are both managed on the same management server. So two TCP connections that are involved in the identity sharing when the enforcement point is remote to the decision point. And the connection using TCP port 28581 is used to register to the PDP and the PDP then is telling which network this PDP is responsible for. 
the pep is keeping a track of that a table in case a packet of interest arrives at the security gateway the pep is looking at the source ip address and asking the pdp responsible for this network if an identity session for the source ip is available and in case it is the identity session is shared with the enforcement point and then the enforcement point can apply the security please review the indicated knowledge base article and even in the r8110 administration guide there are multiple informations available for that Another methodology of identity sharing is using the identity broker set of capabilities. Here, identities are shared across management domains or geographical regions. The main concept is that the identity broker has a functionality called publisher, which is publishing identity sessions over HTTPS and the published identity sessions include even the access role object name that was defined on the management server managing this particular security gateway holding the PDP instance. The identity broker subscriber is learning these identity sessions and then, of course, identity sessions are shared to the policy enforcement points using the identity session sharing mechanism we learned about before. Because gateways can be managed by different management domains, it might be that the name of the access role object is different between the management domains. In this case, you can follow the instructions of SK164474 or even a best practice, you use the same access role object name across multiple domains. If you are using a multiple domain management environment, that's easy. You just have the access role defined as a global object name. 